So in EFC 24, maybe your player hasn't transferred yet, or you wanted another player in a different team and you want to start it as a career mode, or just fancy him in your team anyway. What you want to be doing with this is going into the settings at the top, and then you want to be going into edit teams. From here, you have team sheets, club transfers, national squads, stadiums, download, and reset all squads. Obviously, you want to go into club transfers. So if we want to go to Man City and Haaland, definitely want to go into Aston Villa instead, we can obviously go ahead and transfer him there. We can do that with all the players as long as they have the minimum amount of players on the team. So if we try to do everybody, eventually it will say that you have ran out of players to use. So for instance, or there is a maximum amount of players in there. So I think, I want to say you have to have, what, 21 is it or is it? 20. There we go. So you've got to have at least 17 outfield players. So we could put some goalers in there. We've got to have five players there. If you do make this mistake and you've transferred everybody everywhere and you want to reset it all, you can obviously reset everything and that will reset it. As we then we go into the transfers again, you will see Haaland. When you do transfer somebody, if you are going against them as the computer, they may not be in their starting lineup or in their reserve. So you've got to change it manually to start with if they are a starter in that team or at least want them on the bench. So for instance, with the team sheet, say we did go to someone like Ar uh, Aston Villa and we did put Haaland in, we'd go into this and this would stay the exact same. So we wouldn't have any changes here, no matter if we put 50 players in that were 10 times better than the whole lineup. He would be right at the bottom here. So for instance, he'd be here. You'd have to manually put him onto the bench or onto the team yourselves. Then obviously, if you do want to put the starters still here, you need to put them on the bench as well, as it is naturally how the team is set up. If they do get a update, say for instance, uh, Ramsey gets injured and doesn't play, he'd go into the reserves and then bring somebody forward. But that would be in your downloaded new squads rather than the kind of extra one you've made. So for instance, putting Haaland in there, there is no update for it. But that's how you change players or transfer players. Let me know if this helps.